start. Tim. Hello again. Welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is BGFH back for another iOS video. And yeah, we're going to continue a little bit more looking at some books. So if you haven't figured it out already, you have a plethora of options for reading books, whether they be through a disability or blindness specific service or the mainstream book apps that are available like iBooks, Kindle, and Nook. Today I'm going to show you one of these uh, disability services books. You may be familiar with the service, uh, Recording for the Blind and Dyslexic, or formerly known as RFBND. Now they are Learning Ally. And Learning Ally. we have an app called Learning Ally Audio. Learning Ally. Jesse. Now, the thing with this particular service is that I cannot demo a whole lot for you as far as downloading and reading books because I am not currently a student. I am not, and it does currently cost money to, I believe it's like a hundred bucks per year to be uh, for this service. And since I'm not a student anymore, I really don't need to pay that subscription. Because Learning Ally is the service that you really want to look into if you are in high school or college and you need textbooks. Because this is primarily an education and textbook based service. So you are going to find some literature, you know, especially for things like, you know, literature classes and um, things like that. So there will be some fiction, like we have the book that's on my screen right now um, is fiction, obviously. But... Um, it's primarily textbooks. So I have a demo account right now and I will be able to at least show you the app and how it works. So the app is free in the App Store but again you do have to have your username and password and you do have to be a paid member to get some of these books. So at the top of the screen Jesse.a.anderson Okay, yada 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 Selected. Listen. Button. So I Limited. can listen. That's where I'm at right now. So any any books that I have downloaded, I can listen there. Download button. I two can download, and I'll get to that in a minute. Edit button. Edit. I can just like before. I can if I had a bunch of books in here, I could check the ones I want to delete and then delete them. Settings button. Settings. The War of the Worlds. So the War of the Worlds. That's the one book that I have downloaded with my current trial or my current uh, demo membership because I use that for work to show f to show people so <coughs> I do have that let's back up here to settings settings, settings. and to show you what Not we've fun. got account. here Heading. so Log account Just log out allow in app downloads allow in-app downloads yeah you'd probably want that because if you wanted to be able to download extra things or play while locked. books play while locked I would highly recommend that just like the bookshare app because like the read to go app with bookshare you have the option of reading it with voiceover and then you have your braille support or if you want to be able to lock the screen and kinda of treat it like a media player device um, these are human read audiobooks. So the cool thing is that you have the text and you have the human speech audio and they are synchronized. So you're re you know you're listening to the book and let's say you know again it's a textbook so you're maybe going to have to be learning and memorizing some terminology and you don't know how to spell some of these crazy words. You can go pause the book with voiceover and then you know, take your finger around the book and, you know, use your rotor navigation to find that particular term that they've been reading and spell it or, you know, reread a passage that's unclear to you. So. Play while locked. Play while locked. Reopen the last book. Reopen the last book. So, again, if I exit the app and come back in, do I want to jump to the home, the main home page or do I want to my previous Send book? detailed usage data. Learn more. Multi-user support. So multi-user support, I don't have to worry about this, but if you are in a school setting like where, let's say you're in a high school or even a college setting where maybe Disability Services has some iOS devices and they loan them out to people, uh, they have a school account and then they loan devices out to people who 
need them um, on a need by need basis. Um, that's how you can have a device set up if you were like a disability services administrator and you could you could basically have multiple users with their own books on each device. About learning a lie audio. Help. And so there we go. Back. Back we'll on. go back. Jesse. Go now, download. Button. before I go Two. into the actual book itself, I'm going to go to this download Selected. tab. Download the Bible. 1,523.5 megabytes. So I was able to grab two books, and they were just base. You know, I can't choose from all their library. I have to choose from, like, public domain and stuff. So a lot of people ask about a good way to read the Bible. Um, so I chose one of those, and then I chose a fiction book because it sounded kind of interesting. Selected. List um, the War of the world. I have the War of the Worlds. So I haven't downloaded the Bible to this device because it's huge. These books are going to be a lot bigger than your Bookshare, your Nook, your Kindle apps, because like I said, remember, you're dealing with both text and full spoken audio. These are audio books as well. So you do not want to download these, and I'm not even sure if it'll let you download these on a 3G or LTE data connection. You will want to do this on Wi-Fi. And again, you cannot search for books and uh, download them to your device directly. You have to go to the Learning Ally website and first search for the books and then add them to your, uh, I forget what they call it, but you add it like to your library essentially. And then once that's done, once they're in your library, then they will show up under the downloads tab like my Bible book did there. And then you will be able to download it. Like I said, it's just like how all of the other, excuse me, all of the other mainstream apps work as well because Apple doesn't make it and they won't let you do that. So let's pop into a book and I can show you how they read. Table of contents. So when I pop into there, shush. Page, button. So I can select it, pop. Button. I One of three. talk, which is actually TOC for table of contents. I have some tabs, so I've got table of contents, which I'm on right now because it was selected. Page. Stimmed. Page. Two of three. Bookmark. Button. I can Two add, if I have bookmarks, I can browse by those as well. I'm going to flick to the right again. Level one. The Project Gutenberg ebook of the War of the Worlds by H. Level one. The War of the Worlds. Level one by H. G. Wells. Level two. Book one. Level 2, The Coming of the Martians. <laughs> the Coming of the Martians. Okay, that's a nice way to say that. But, all right, let's uh, just start there. We'll double tap there because... The War of the Worlds. The coming Table of, of Contents. The Back button. Chapter 1. The Eve of War. No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that this world was being watched keenly and closely by intelligences greater than man's and yet as mortal as his own. All right. Stop. As men busy I'm going to stop it there. Play. Hopefully that came through enough, but as you can tell, that was a human, uh, that was a guy reading this uh, actual book. And on the screen, you do have, it, it doesn't select by like a word or sentence at a time. It looks like it just selects like the paragraph or block of text at a time to show you where it is reading. But I can take my finger. No one would have believed in the last years of the 19th century that this world was being watched keenly and closely by intelligences greater than man's and yet as mortal as his own. Okay, so yada yada, it's going to keep reading. Now, on the top I have my back Table button. Of contents. Back button. And on the bottom I have all kinds of controls. So, in the bottom left... Settings. Button. I have my settings. Speed button. Speed, that's a crucial one right there. Previous button. Previous. Play. Play. Button. Next. Next. Button. Level navigation button. Level navigation. So again, these are a mixture of text and audio daisy books. So assuming they have really good navigation, you know, you can navigate. Again, we're looking at textbooks. So you're probably going to be wanting to navigate not just by chapter, but, you know, you can navigate by chapter, by major, uh, major heading or section within that chapter. That's going to be more important in an education setting, so that's how you can do that. Bookmark button. I can bookmark. 
there you go. Let's go back to this uh, speed. Come on. Previous speed. Speed. So now what I can do. X one dot zero zero. Pitch. Okay, I can do. Interval. Speed, pitch, and interval. I'm not exactly sure what interval does, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to, again, I'm cheating for the speed of this video. I'm just kind of moving my finger around without flicking. I'm just touching on the bar that I want. 25%, Let's say 55%. We'll back. Now if I play, and the human speech should not be quite as painfully slow themselves about their various concerns stop scrutinized Button. and studied perhaps almost as narrowly as a man with a microscope might scrutinize the transient creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water with infinite complacency men went to and fro over this globe about their little affairs serene in their assurance of their empire over matter it is possible that the stop Button. now you i don't know how Button. well it came up on the video however you may have noticed that when you speed it up this is one of the problems that i have <sighs> yeah, okay, great, low battery. Uh, one of the problems that I have with a lot of apps that try to speed up audio, we will run into this in the, again in the future, is that when you speed them up, compared to if you're used to using like a talking book player or a, um, like a Victor Reader stream or something like that, when you're using those standalone devices, they have a really good like compression algorithm or whatever it happens to be, a really good audio engine that when you speed things up to the degree that a lot of blind and visually impaired users are used to, um, the audio still sounds really clear and really good. But on, the, on a lot of these apps, both for books and podcasts uh, and audible books, what happens is uh, I find that when you speed them up even a little, they sound okay, but they add, they add this weird, it's a compression thing, and the, it, it has this weird sort of like echoey, echoey, tinny, robotic tinge to the voice. I don't really know how to describe it, but hopefully you were able to hear it as the guy was reading a little bit faster there. And it's livable. Um, you know, it's definitely usable. I have read several things and listened to podcasts that way for them to be sped up because I am really used to uh, sped up human speech both for podcasts and books. Uh, normal speed speech actually just drives me crazy so <laughs> um, that's where I still definitely do use my Victor Reader stream. Um, but uh, that is one thing that you will notice. So if you are an audiophile or if you know that that kind of extra weird tinny weird effect bothers you that is one thing to note if you do speed up the audio that said the rest of the app does work very well reading and bookmarks and uh, reading it both with audio and text with voiceover and then again having your braille support if you are using voiceover that does work as well so again if you're looking at uh, if you need textbooks and you still want to have that available to you on your iPhone with all of your other stuff. That is definitely available for free. Um, you, do, you do need to have your membership or have a school membership or however that works for you. But uh, the app does work very well. That is the Learning Ally Audio app available in the App Store. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later.